everyone. Thanks so much for joining me here today as we get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, comic books. My name is Jose. I love comic books. I love talking about them. I love sharing them with you. Follow me on social media if you'd like. I like to post my artwork. That's about it. Um, links in the description below. There's also a link. Uh, I'm just going to go through this very quickly. But I'm also posting a link to the Aliens uh, fan site. And you can... Uh, kind of get a more up-to-date or a more complete plot as to what the story is about. I'm just kind of going to go real quick through here because my main point is Mignola. Now, of course, some people say Mignola, so I say Mignola because I think that I just, that's what it sounds like. So Dave Gibbons is the writer. Dave Gibbons, of course, is the artist on Watchmen. And Kevin Nolan, one of my most, uh, one of my other f favorite artists, is the inker. So I have the actual trade paperback that came out, not a trade, it was like a graphic novel that came out in 1993. So I actually have it. This is, I think, before Hellboy, right before Hellboy. So it's in that early Hellboy style, though. So Kevin, like I said, Kevin Nolan is the inker and he's worked with uh, Kevin Nolan before. So what we have here is we have like um, a Christian. This this dude here is a Christian. And then he's with this other guy who is um, kind of a, the captain of the ship who... Um, <laughs> and uh, so... This is kind of what, what what we have here is he has um, so it starts in the in what happened and then we kind of work our way backwards. Now, if you take a look here, the coloring or there's a, there's an aspect to the coloring that gives you the uh, that you know that we're in the past here. But you can see here that uh, the captain um, is escaping. Um, and so they're leaving them to basically die. And he's taking this guy uh, with him. Um, and uh, like I said, in the links below, there is a link to the fan site. And like I said, there's a more detailed plot here. So um, he catches catches dinner. He's being he's doing actual Christian things with the the. Uh, captain is none too appreciative of things so um but uh, this guy is uh, trying to take care of him and uh all that kind of stuff the art is beautiful this is what i um uh, got this for so um just absolutely gorgeous Magnola art if you enjoy his Hellboy run um, I suggest this as you can see from the cover Marvel did a reprint of this uh, Marvel is now has aliens because uh, Disney bought aliens uh, I'm surprised I haven't found a way to put the xenomorph into um, <laughs> the parks but um he ends up having to kill this guy here, so. Um, and uh, anyway, so get this if to add it to your collection. If you're if you like Hellboy and you like Mignola, definitely. So. He feels bad for killing that uh, that uh, monkey-looking creature, so he he just got scared, and uh, the guy was scared as well. So, and then I don't know if you noticed in the beginning, but you saw that dead um, alien. So he was um, that was on the beach. So. So we get this lady here. And the guy, of course, is thankful. 
and uh, of course there's the alien you know it like i said it's it's a it's an all in done it's a it would have normally been probably like a two issues but in this case it's um done in just the um done in one it was released like as a short graphic novel man mike mignola just has such great art you know and it kind of started a little bit but just like the pacing is really good i love mignola how he does so much black and how he masters it just letting you know the he him and frank miller frank miller's another guy who is so great at silhouettes and of course here's the queen and all the little cocoons those creatures there I know that with Prometheus and stuff, they're trying to bring the, uh, um, they're going to have the reveal that she's actually a cyborg, just like the other ones. And, um, the, uh, anyway, the, um, Xenomorphs really don't have much of an origin yet. They haven't, we haven't really. Uh, Prometheus is starting to give us kind of what they are, but um, I think we'll eventually get that origin. So, as I mentioned before, I know that I'm going kind of fast. I'm just trying to show the uh, Magnola's beautiful art. That's really all I'm trying to concentrate. But you know, look at that in that link in that description down there. Uh, give that fan site a. Um, a look like I said they have a detailed plot going on in there so so this guy's going to basically commit suicide to destroy everyone and boom and then you can see that there was the explosion and then there was a missionary that was heading there, but, you know, it's too late. So, thus, the end. So, I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you like looking at it. Like I said, I didn't really cover much of the story itself. Um, go into that website that in, in the links in the description below. And... Uh, if you're interested, um, you can look up kind of as to what the story is. So like and subscribe. Thanks for listening.